Hey y'all, it's Natalie for A Cherry on Top, and today I'm using some of the new Gamer Collection by Pink, uh, by Photo Play to scrap these pics of my little boy who just got a new iPad for Christmas. Um, so I love this paper, it's super fun um, from that collection. If you can see, his iPad case has um, like a rainbow case on it. And so I thought that I could try to use this Pink Fresh Studio collection that's rainbow themed, but it was a little too pink. And I like pink and he likes pink, but for the colors that are in this paper that I wanted to use, the black paper, um, that has a little bit of red, blue, and green. So I decided to go to my stash and I pulled out this like rainbow striped paper um, to use instead. And I thought that it really worked well with the iPad cover. But I did want the short side of the stripes to show on all sides. I wanted to cut the black piece into a square. So I decided to cut that paper into strips, also because I didn't have a full 12 by 12 sheet of it. So I cut it into two inch strips and then I'm kind of just working with it to see how I want it to look. So I want a really big border of those stripes. And then I want the black square in the middle. So I go, like, I'm looking at it. I cut down my square. It was my only piece, so I was, like, hesitant to go ahead and cut it. But I think I cut it to nine inches. And I start putting the stripes around it. And then I think, you know, it's real busy. Wouldn't it look really cool to have some of that white background showing through? Just a little tiny gap, maybe, between where the papers meet up. So that's kind of where I'm going with here. Once I set that on top, I'm like, mm, a white space between those two papers would be a really nice look for your eye to rest. And also because I have those photos kind of in a little film strip and I actually intended to cut them apart, but I actually really like the way that they are lined up there. So I'm gonna keep them that way. So I trim the striped paper down even further so that the square will sit between all of the pieces and a little tiny bit of the white underneath paper will show through. Um, if you ever watch my videos, I'm not super precise about things and measuring is not my forte. So I get to a point where I'm like, surely I'm not that bad at measuring, right? So this is your notice that the 12 by 12 white cardstock by American Crafts that are sold in the store um, is a little bit wider than it is tall. <laughs> Cause I was like, no, I'm not crazy. Like this is not adding up. And, and it was giving me a little bit more on the sides and it is because it's just a little bit wider than 12, um, width, which you could easily obviously solve that by trimming it down. Um, it didn't bother me enough. <laughs> I just made sure everything was centered. So I grabbed this paper pad that came in one of the cherry boxes previously, and it's a lovely ombre rainbow, but I picked, um, a yellow piece that kind of matched the yellow stripe on the striped paper. And I used some of my favorite um, alpha dyes to cut the title, which is called Attitude Loading. Um, and so I love that this Gamer Collection by Photoplay kind of encouraged me to tell this story that I maybe wouldn't have already told before. So, I mean, it's obviously a collection about gaming, um, but I had these cute pics that I took of my kid the other day and he kind of was like making a face in one um, and he was being silly, but it reminded me that we take away the iPad a lot. Um, he can't handle too much screen time. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I tell that story? And it's not like a negative story, but it's just kind of like telling about how he is right now and his life. And so I thought, well, that's a good picture to tell that story. So I'm kind of telling like this more of a little snarky story and how it basically affects the whole family if he has too much screen time. <laughs> uh, and I'm not being like a crunchy mom or anything. I'm just saying like, you can tell when the boys had too much screen time. <laughs> so I did decide to pop up that middle black piece because I love it so much and I want it to kind of be um, in the foreground. But this um, foam doesn't like pop up super a lot. Um, I did get new foam tape recently, but I decided that since it was such a large piece, I wanted to use these big um, pieces of foam here. So I'm just adhering them down to the back of the black paper. And I love the way it fits so nicely in between those stripes. I roughed up the edges really good as though you were mad at the paper. And um, I'm loving the way that looks. So now I'm gonna put everything back on before I adhere everything down just to ensure everything's kind of where I um, want it. And like I said, I'm not typically a very precise person or measure type person, but I actually use my T-square ruler so much. And I have a T-square ruler because Missy Wooden says you need a T-square ruler, but I use it a lot. And it's very fabulous for getting titles on straight, especially when you die cut rather than um, sticking stickers. 
Um, so I just was looking through these other papers I have from the Gamer Collection to see if there was anything I wanted to maybe fussy cut out as an icon. Um, but I didn't. It was all just a little bit too big. So I decided to use the sticker sheet as well as I pulled out this Bro & Co collection and it kind of went really well with the colors. Um, I'd used a lot of it already before, but I knew that it had a few video game icons. So I just wanted to go through that real quick. Um, so if you have some of that left in your stash, please note that it goes well with the gamer collection by PhotoPlay. So I definitely wanna use that blue Wi-Fi um, because he's using an iPad and so he definitely uses Wi-Fi. I really wanted a journaling spot, which is why I pulled out that ephemera. And so I'm considering cutting my photos apart and kind of tiling them up over on the left, but I really love the photo strip and I love the linear look of it. So I go back to the drawing board and I look for a different journaling piece and I decide to land on this little rectangle and it's so tiny, but you know what? There's not much to say about the story. And I thought, well, I'll just really write it neatly and really small on that little journaling spot. So it's time to commit. I'm ready to stick down the paper. So I pull off the backing to do the adhesive um just be really careful when you have adhesive like this like once it's stuck it's stuck so i just wanted to make sure that it was perfectly centered that you can see a little white line all the way around the um, black block so i stick it down I'm just showing you it has a little bit of dimension not too much but it also makes it really sturdy which was nice and i stick my photo um strip back on and now i'm going to oh i had an extra bit of that paper and i thought well i could put a little bit of the color on the page so um i didn't want to fully back my photo strip with like a color i did think about doing it with the yellow but then i thought well that would be too much yellow so i just do like a tiny little strip and i rough up the edges to kind of mimic the strips around the edge and i'm really happy with how that looks um these are some skinny alpha dies. I don't think they have these in the cherry on top store, but they have a similar one. It's called Haley. And I almost bought it the other day and then I measured and it was very close to these measurements. And I was like, no, I don't need two dies that are that similar. <laughs> but I'm just kind of using my T-square here to line it up to make sure everything's straight. And I'm also trying to see where I want it, like how high up on the page I want it. Um, so I highly recommend T-square. I'm gonna put that down in the description below. They are definitely in stock at a cherry on top and they're not very expensive. And I use it way more than I would thought would have thought for someone who isn't precise. And if you are more of a precise scrapper, highly recommend. <laughs> so these are the um, pop dots from a cherry on top. Someone in my last video told me diameter was the word I was looking for. They are one half inch diameter. And the, I just use those to again, pop up the film strip. So just add a little more dimension like I did with the, my paper there. So I'm using the top of the film strip to um, you, uh, be a guide for the bottom word atti of attitude loading. And then I'll use that word and the T-square to kind of set the word attitude above it. I'm using my Nuva adhesive. It's my favorite adhesive and it dries clear. So if you get it a little off, it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't show up later. So that's cool. And um, I don't really measure as far as like where the middle is. I just kind of use the middle photo as the middle. And if it's not the exact true middle, well, everything will line up with it and it will seem as though it is the exact true middle. <laughs> I'm also on the blog at a cherry on top today. So go check that out. I will link that down below as well as with my affiliate link if you would like to go shopping for the new gamer collection. Um, if you have a gamer in your life, you probably need it. Also, even if you don't have a gamer, it has some really cool papers. Um, I, in my last video, I did an unboxing and one of the papers is really cool. Um, and it's supposed to look like gaming, but it also reminds me a lot of Legos. So the collection would work really well with, for Legos as well. So I pulled off the Wi-Fi sticker and I'm gonna stick it down and kind of make a little cluster down here with my journaling block, as well as those little headphones. So that, that those are pulled, bleh. I pulled those out of the Bro & Co ephemera, but there's also a pair of headphones on the sticker sheet. I, they were just blue, so I kind of wanted to use a different color since I had the blue Wi-Fi sticker. I'm going to stamp down on my teeny written journaling card. Um, I'm just gonna put the date on there and it didn't even fit, this card is so tiny. So I stamped a couple of times to get the full date on there, um, which includes the year. I'm actually scrapping this year. Um, I think this is the first photo of the year that I've scrapped and it's a little snarky. So, you know, it's me. <laughs> I do pop up those headphones on some of those pop dots as well. I just like kind of cut them up a little bit um, to add again, more dimension and it matches up with the dimension of the photo. Um, that is a little bit from the um, Bro & Co and it's a snarky little says, it says 
you salty? Because he's making that like little silly face. And he does get really salty when we take away the screen time. But um, we just limit it. Like we got to limit it for the good of the fam. You know, like his attitude. Mm. But he, uh, he gets it from me. Don't tell his dad I said that. He totally gets it from me. <laughs> that sticker, I think it's from Bro & Co. Um, so I'm just kind of creating a little collage and I'm combining a few stickers. I like that I could use some of the ones from the gamer collection that say like battle and challenge um, that obviously are referring to like fighting games. It actually kind of refers to like our challenge with like screen time and sometimes it's a battle. <laughs> but uh, if we set up expectations to begin with then that helps. But I just like that it tells like a little snapshot of his personality at this point in time um, in his life. And I also like how cute he looks with those little headphones that have Pikachu ears. Highly recommend getting headphones if you buy your kid a tablet, which we did not. His grandmother bought him that. They are lucky little boys. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you're inspired. I hope that I've been able to help with something. If it just makes you feel better that you also have a kid who can't handle too much screen time. <laughs> Let me go if you have any questions down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye y'all.